The Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association and the Florida Department of Agriculture present Thoroughbred Week with John Henderson. Also presented by Double Diamond Farm, Gulf Stream Park, Ocala Breeders Sales Company, Tampa Bay Downs, Valerie Daly of Showcase Properties, and Woodford Thoroughbreds. Hello everyone and welcome to Thoroughbred Week featuring the turf debut of dual classic winner California Chrome in the Grade 1 Hollywood Derby along with a sweep by three-year-olds in the Grade 1 Clark Handicap. We begin with fillies and mares at Churchill Downs in the Grade 2 Falls City Handicap. Don't tell Sophia, the 9-10 to 10 favorite, Larry Comas picks up the call. Not a lot of pace here for Don't Tell Sophia. She still has six lengths to make up, but she's coming now as the field makes their way to the top of the stretch. And we've got a new leader. It's Frivolous. Frivolous has taken over as they turn for home. Teen Pauline has dropped out of it. Frivolous turns for home with a two-length lead. Don't Tell Sophia is coming with her run on the far outside. Tis Windy and Flashy American are there, too. And then Molly Morgan, frivolous, trying to pull off the upset. On the outside, Don't Tell Sophia. Molly Morgan closing late on the inside. Still frivolous, though. Frivolous on the outside. Don't Tell Sophia. Molly Morgan at the rail. Here's the finish. Frivolous has won. 19 to 1 long shot. Frivolous holds off the late run of odds on favorite Don't Tell Sophia by half a length. John Court, the winning jockey in 151 and 1. Third behind Don't Tell Sophia and Molly Morgan in the Locust Grove Stakes over the track two starts back, Frivolous records her first stakes victory. The four-year-old filly by Empire Maker was bred in Kentucky by her owner, G. Watts Humphrey Jr. Trained by the owner's daughter, Vicki Oliver, Frivolous has earned $333,000. John Court with the Safe Ride of the Week, presented by Sally Horse Fans, the safest way to the water circle. To Del Mar for turf fillies and mares in the Grade One Matriarch Stakes. Discreet Mark, the three to two favorite. Trevor Denman has the call. They have a half mile left to go in the Matriarch, and Joel Rosario and Latia taking them along comfortably by a length. Gender agendas in second. Discreet Mark is third on the far side. She's a smoke show at the rail. Queen of the Sand now just going to need somewhere to run. Strath Neighbor on the far side, and then Kadea. Coming to the top of the lane, and Latia is still full of run out here. She's jumping on the bit as Latia. Latia hugs the rail now, is let loose, and she strides on for home. On the outside, Discreet Mark is running a big one. Gender Agenda running a huge one as well. Queen of the Sand comes with a late run at the rail, but Latia is still clear with 50 to go, and Latia was too good today. Latia and Joel Rosario take the matriarch. Two to one second choice, Latia takes the field gate to wire to defeat Queen of the Sand by a length and a quarter. Joel Rosario up in 135 and one. Latia records her fourth graded stakes victory of the season and gives trainer Armando de la Cerda his first grade one victory. She was last seen taking the grade three Athenia stakes at Belmont Park. The five-year-old mirror by City Place was bred in Illinois by her owner Salvatore Hernandez. Latia has earned $983,000. Darby Dan Farm Stallion, American Lion. Tis now's brilliant graded stakes winner at both two and three. American Lion's weanlings sold for up to $75,000 at the recent Keeneland November sale. Watch for his first cup of two-year-olds hitting the track in 2015. Marathon turf horses at Del Mar in the grade two Hollywood Turf Cup. The pizza man, the two to one favorite, Trevor Denman picks up the call. They go to the half mile and Mystery Train backpedaling now. Mystery Train's gone. So the new leader is Little Jerry. Power foot second. The pizza man races up to be third. In behind that comes Bench Light. Patriotic and proud. Irish Surf. Finnegan's Wake behind them. And the last two, Stony Fleece and Holiday Star. They are coming to the top of the lane, and Little Jerry's in front by three. Little Jerry, the one to catch now. The pizza man comes after him, then comes Powerfoot. Patriotic and Proud is in behind that. They come to the top of the lane now, and it is still Little Jerry hanging on, but here's the pizza man. The pizza man now strikes the front, full of run, and goes for home. Patriotic and Proud, Finnegan's Wake, late run. Here's Finnegan Wake coming like an express train down the center of the track. Finnegan's Wake gets the lead, Patriotic and Proud, Finnegan's Wake, and Victor Espinosa have won it ahead to Patriotic and Proud.
Finnegan's Wake gets up to defeat Patriotic and Proud by a neck with the Pizza Man settling for third. Victor Espinosa aboard in 227 and 1. Winner of the Grade 3 Arlington Handicap while in the care of Dale Romans, Finnegan's Wake was making his third start for trainer Peter Miller, and he rebounds from a 10th place finish in the Breeders' Cup turf. The five year old horse by Powers Court was bred in Kentucky by Jerry Crawford. Finnegan's Wake has earned $825,000 for Donegal Racing and Rockingham Ranch. Watch Thoroughbred Week replays online at tbreadweek.com. Pimbuck and the Don Handicap. Here is Arch, Arch, Arch. The honeymoon Handicap goes to Saren. International Grade 1 sire Arch has sired over 17% stakes horses. He is the sire of champions in four countries, including Eclipse champion Blaine. Has won it ahead. And his daughters have already produced two Eclipse champions. Arch, championship sire at Claiborne Farm. Mucho Macho Man just keeps on finding on the lead. Will take charge a late run. Mucho Macho Man, the more they ask, the more he gave. Those two full throttle under the line. Private Zone coming back. Private Zone comes back. A courageous victor here. Champion Macho Uno. Sire of grade one stakes winners from six furlongs to ten furlongs. Standing at Adina Springs. Combining the legacy of Kentucky with the fertile breeding ground of Florida. Woodford Thoroughbreds proudly introduces in 2014... Warfront's best son to stand in stud. Multiple graded stakes winner, sold out. And juvenile grade one winner of the hopeful stakes, currency swap. Woodford Thoroughbreds, where a new generation of horse racing excellence has begun. Sunny Florida produces champions from start to finish. Florida produced Breeders' Cup Classic winner Mucho Macho Man. Florida is one of the premier breeding regions and training centers in the world. We are a leading prep center for derby winners and contenders. We boast of premier veterinary research centers and three major racetracks. Florida has the largest two-year-old in training sale in the world, selling horses six times annually. Florida is proudly represented by the Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association. Sunny Florida produces champions from start to finish. Discover Ocala, horse capital of the world, centrally located between Orlando and Jacksonville. Ocala's thoroughbred industry has many incentives to breed, raise, and train thoroughbreds. Here are a few recent listings. Oak View, Copacabana, Marnick, Ocala, Marion County. Come visit us and we'll show you why it's a great place to live. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with graded stakes for two-year-olds in this segment. Two-year-old stakes action is presented by BC2A Paste. Reduce the likelihood of tying up with BC2A Paste. We begin with Phillies at Aqueduct and the grade two Demoiselle stakes. Condo Commando, the three to two favorite. John Embrial has the call. Condo Commando, three quarters in one, 12 and three, as they move for the top of the stretch. It's Condo Commando holding the lead here over Angela Renee, and now they're in the stretch. Condo Commando has opened up now. Condo Commando by four, now by five, by six lengths over Angela Renee. Calamity Kate is third. It's Condo Commando, and she's in command here. She's pouring it on. She has demolished the field in the Demoiselle. Condo Commando by nine lengths. The heavy favorite Condo Commando draws off to defeat Calamity Kate officially by 11 and a half lengths. Joel Rosario aboard the Keeneland Sells graduate in 150 and two. A runaway 13 and a quarter length winner of the grade one spinaway. The Rudy Rodriguez trainee finished fourth as the odds on favorite in the grade one for set stakes. The filly by Tis Wonderful was bred in Kentucky by Spinthrift Farm. It was a $72,000 Keeneland September yearling. Condo Commando has earned $508,000 for Michael Dubb, Bethlehem Stables, and the Elkstone Group. To Churchill Downs for the Grade 2 Goldenrod Stakes. Undefeated West Coast Bell, the 8-5 to five favorite, Larry Comas picks up the call. 
still simply confection christina's journey and on the outside of them ancient goddess and three of them are across the track as they round the far turn west coast bell has taken fourth and here she comes now she's four lengths off the lead and gaining also gaining ground is I'm a chatterbox from well behind, as is Heart Song on the far outside. And they're coming to the top of the stretch. Simply Confection has given way. Ancient Goddess is the leader, but here they all come. West Coast Bell, I'm a chatterbox. These two in no fault of mine on the far outside. And the three of them come into the final furlong. West Coast Bell in front. No fault of mine. It's down to these two. West Coast Bell's got the lead. No fault of mine. Can't get to her. And West Coast Bell has won the golden rod. West Coast Bell holds off no fault of mine by a length and a quarter. Sean Bridgemahan, the winning jockey in 145 and 2. A first out maiden winner at Monmouth Park, the Wayne Catalano trainee, was coming off a six and three quarter length victory in the Rags to Riches Stakes at Churchill Downs. The filly by leading sire Tappet was bred in Kentucky by her owners, Gary and Mary West. West Coast Bell has earned $190,000. Back to Aqueduct for the grade two Remsen Stakes. Frosted, the nine to five favorite. Once again, here's John and Brielle. Leave the light on. Classy class now right alongside. And Frosted is ready to roll now on the outside. The three of them come to the top of the stretch together. They've opened up seven lengths on Moonlight Bandit in fourth. Three quarters. Win in 113. Here's Frosted on the outside. And down at the rail. Leave the light on. Continues to battle. Classy class is third. There's a furlong to the finish in the Remsen. Leave the light on is a tough customer here. Frosted driving on the outside. Leave the light on with the lead. Frosted is second. They come for the finish line. Leave the light on. We'll do it by a half length over Frosted. Leave the light on by Claiborne Farm Stag and Horse Greeley holds off Frosted by half a length. The fourth victory on the card for Jose Ortiz. The OBS Sells graduate clocked in 151 flat. The Chad Brown trainee was coming off a four and a half length maiden victory in his second start at Belmont Park. The Colt was bred in Kentucky by All Gold Racing. It was a $65,000 yearling. A $210,000 OBS April two-year-old, Leave the Light On, has earned $385,000 for Clarevich Stables and William Lawrence. To Churchill Downs for the Grade 2 Kentucky Jockey Club Stakes. Lord Nelson, the 7-5 to five favorite. Once again, here's Larry Comas. El Kabir and Calvin Burrell continue to lead the way. They're a half mile from home. The lead is a length and a half. Sky Hero is edging up closer now in second. Lucky Player is closer as well. And then it's International Star. Imperia is getting going on the far outside. Eagle is waiting for running room near the rail. No place to go for Eagle right now. Lord Nelson still with his work cut out for him, but he's starting to move. He's within six lengths of the lead, and he's coming now. But El Kabir's in front as they move to the top of the stretch. Sky Hero, Imperia closing on the outside, an international star. Eagle is trying to get going, and on the far outside, it's Lord Nelson, but it's still El Kabir. El Kabir down to the 16th pole, holding on to the lead. Imperia trying to run him down, then Eagle on the outside. El Kabir, Imperia, and Eagle. El Kabir and Imperia on the wire together, and it looked like El Kabir held on. El Kabir by Ashford Stud Stallion Scad Daddy holds on to take the photo by a head over Imperia. Calvin Burrell aboard the OBL Sales Graduate in 144 and 4. A 10 and 3 quarter length maiden winner at Saratoga, the John Terranova trainee was last seen fading to second in the Grade 2 Nashua Stakes. El Kabir joins American Pharaoh and Mr. Z as top Kentucky Derby prospects for Zayat Stables. The $250,000 co sale stopper at the OBS August yearling sale, El Kabir has earned nearly $269,000. The winner was bred in Florida by Russellwood Farm Incorporated. Florida breads, race them or chase them. The Spinthrift Farm Stallion of the Week is shaking it up. The first horse in 40 years to win Santa Anita's Grade 1 Malibu, Grade 2 San Vicente, and Grade 2 Stoop Stakes. Visit the farm today to see this brilliant Grade 1 winner and spinning image of Midnight Loot, new for 2015.
Ludwig Armile. Florida bred. He is not just a racehorse. He is our heart. He is our toil and sweat. He soaks up the bright sunshine, becoming mighty and strong. He feasts on our abundant grass and drinks our mineral rich water. He is a way of life, our champion. His excellence brings us chills as he competes, inspiring us to greatness. He is our purpose, our soul. He is a Florida bred. Living up at the Downs. Do you like having a great time with your friends and family? Then you will have a great time. Come out to Tampa Bay Downs and you will see thoroughbred racing, Texas Hold'em tournaments. You gotta know when to pull them. Help your golf game at our practice range. You can bet there's so much more. Tampa Bay Downs. Living up at the Downs. Welcome back to Thoroughbred Week with a battle of three-year-olds in the Grade 1 Clark Handicap coming up in this segment. We begin with Turf Horses at Del Mar in the Grade 2 Seabiscuit Handicap. Tom's Tribute, the 3-2 to two favorite. Once again, here's Trevor Denman. They head to the half mile pole and Sky Ring on the far side and pure tactics. Still head and head up front. Length and a half to Tom's Tribute. Zah Approval gets a little closer in fourth in Big Bane Theory. Little bit of fun at the rail. Mr. Commons going for an early run wide out. Mr. Commons goes up fourth. And Kai Goon at the back, but they really compact. Four lengths would cover the lot. They are coming to the top of the lane, and now Tom's Tribute comes looking for the lead. Tom's Tribute, orange cap on the far side. Czar approval at the rail. Pure Tactics tries to go on as well. Big Bane Theory, Mr. Commons, and even Kai Goon joining the fray late, wide open. Tom's Tribute gets the lead. Kai Goon coming storming home in the center of the track. And here's Kai Goon up to take the lead with 50 to go. And Kai Goon and Cory Nakatani, Zah approval late. But Kai Goon has won the Sea Biscuits. Kai Goon rallies from last to defeat Zah approval by three quarters of a length. Cory Nakatani up in 141 and 1. What are the grade two play the King Stakes at Woodbine? And grade one placed at both Kingland and Woodbine this season. The Mark Cassie trainee was coming off a 10th place finish in the Breeders' Cup Mile. The four-year-old gelding by Northern of Fleet was bred in Ontario by William Sirocco's Racing Stable and was a $37,000 yearling. Kaigan has earned $964,000 for Quintessential Racing Florida, Horse in a Round Stable, and Gary Barber. American Produce Records is now available online. Visit brisnet.com slash APR for unlimited access to the pedigrees of more than 3 million thoroughbreds for just $275 a year, now including SAR stats. To Aqueduct for the Grade 1 Cigar Mile, Secret Circle, the 3 to 2 favorite, John Embrial has the call. The opening half, 44 seconds, private zone. Sending the field into the far turn with a two-length lead. Private Zone setting these quick fractions and in front over Leak Wrigley Ready and Secret Circle. Vijack is now fourth, five lengths from the front. Then it's big business for the back. Bourbon Courage and Transparent, and they're all chasing Private Zone, who has the lead at the head of the stretch. Private Zone ran three quarters in 108 and 1. He's trying to go wire to wire in the cigar mile. Secret Circle in second, then Wrigley Ready, Bourbon Courage, Vijack, and Big Business. Private Zone put on the lead at the start by Martin Pedroza, and he's won the cigar mile in front running fashion. Private Zone by Adina Spring Stallion Macho Uno draws up to defeat Secret Circle by five lengths. Martin Pedroza aboard the Keeneland Sells graduate in 134 and 1, a 106 Briz Speed rating. 
a two-time winner of the Grade 1 Vosburgh Stakes, Private Zone was coming off a third-place finish in the Breeders' Cup Sprint. Formerly trained by Doug O'Neill, he was making his third start for Alfredo Velasquez. The five-year-old gelding was bred in Ontario by Adina Springs and was a $15,000 Keeneland September yearling from the Adina Springs consignment. Private Zone has banked $1,521,000 for Good Friend Stable. To Churchill Downs for the Grade 1 Clark Handicap. Opportunity, the 2-1 to one favorite, Larry Comas has the call. So it's been a sensible pace so far for Constitution. And Opportunity turns up the heat now, and Easter Gift is right up with them on the outside. And these three move into the far turn on top. Departing is running in fourth on the inside. Protonico is fifth. The others have work to do around the far turn. Constitution is the leader. Opportunity now under a ride to go with him as they come to the top of the stretch. Three quarters in one thirteen flat. And they're into the stretch, and it's Constitution and Opportunity. And the two three-year-olds are fighting it out in the Clark. And Protonico has come on, and he's running strongly on the far outside. Opportunity in front. Protonico is closing down the center of the track. Constitution has the rail. It's Opportunity. Constitution coming back. Protonico on the outside. The three of them to the wire, and Opportunity has won. Opportunity takes the battle of three-year-olds by half a length over Protonico, with Constitution fading to third. Martin Garcia aboard the Keeneland Sells graduate in 149 and 4. Considered a top classic candidate for Bob Baffert after winning the Grade 2 Rebel Stakes and finishing second to California Chrome in the Grade 1 Santa Anita Derby, Opportunity missed the Kentucky Derby with a foot injury. This was his second start off a nearly seven-month layoff. The Colt by any given Saturday was bred in Kentucky by Betts, DJ Stable, Kidder, and Robinault. Opportunity has earned $950,000 for Carl Watson, Michael Pegram, and Paul Whiteman. The Colt was consigned by Betts Thoroughbreds to the 2012 Keeneland September yearling sale where it was purchased by Baffert for $300,000. Grade 1 Clark Handicap winner, Opportunity, the Keeneland Sales Graduate of the Week. Coming up, a derby win on turf for California Crow. Wholesome food that's fresh from Florida. You already know how good it is. But did you know that buying locally makes a good thing even better? Food grown here by Florida farmers doesn't need to be shipped as far. That saves fuel and cuts emissions, which helps the environment. Buying Florida-grown products creates jobs and generates revenue, and that helps our economy. Fresh from Florida. Good for the environment. Good for the economy. Good for you. Sydney's Candy now full of run. And Sydney's Candy, very impressive turn of foot. Puts them away and opens up on them now. An absolutely scintillating performance from Sydney's Candy. Never gave them a chance. We're in for an absolutely devastating performance here. Sydney's Candy, they would need to sprout wings to get to Sydney's Candy. But it's a one horse race. That one horse is Sydney's Candy. After finishing a disappointing eighth in her first start, Groupie Doll would rebound just two weeks later to impressively break her maiden. She would go on to become one of the best sprinters of her generation, earning back-to-back -back Eclipse Awards. After selling for $3.1 million at the Keeneland November sale, everyone believed her racing career was over. 
but Groupie Doll would return and add another graded stakes victory to her impressive resume. OCD Pellets. Build stronger bone and build your success story. Time now for the Feature Race of the Week, presented by Keeneland, investing in racing's future since 1936. To Del Mar for the Grade 1 Hollywood Derby. California Chrome, the 3-5 to five favorite, in his first start on turf. Here's the call by Trevor Denman. Field for the Hollywood Derby sent on their way to a perfect start, and California Chrome just popped the gate and went straight to the lead. California Chrome not wasting any time. He's taken hold of the bit, and California Chrome sprinting away to the early lead. Sawyer's Hill is going to tuck into the second spot. Then a big gap of five lengths back to the Philly Lexi Lou. Another four lengths behind that comes Cabral, and then we come back to Flamboyant and Talco. So they head to the 7 8 pole, and now Sawyer's Hill's gone on with it. Sawyer's Hill goes on to lead them. Victor Espinosa just sitting chilly here on California Chrome, just ambling along in the second spot. Then there's a gap of four lengths back to the Philly Lexi Lou racing third. There's another three back to Cabral, who's back third last, then Flamboyant, and Talco is the early trailer. Spread out over quite a lot of ground as they go down the back stretch, and Sawyer's Hill and Rafael Bejarano are going to try to steal it out here now. Leads it by three lengths. But California Chrome absolutely idling in second. Victor Espinosa, big look back from him, confidently goes up to the leader. Now the rest of them closing in. Flamboyant, Lexi Lou. Behind that, Cabral and Talco. The whole picture changes as they go into the turn now. Sawyer's Hill still clinging on to this lead. California Chrome. Now Victor Espinosa just shakes the reins at him. And California Chrome up to get the lead at the top of the lane. Sawyer's Hill is trying to dig deep in second. Lexi Lou and Flamboyant homeward bound. And California Chrome in full flight for the wire. The Philly Lexi Lou's run a brave one. But just look at California Chrome. California Chrome is California's hot drop. Wins it easily. California Chrome coast home by two links over the Philly Lexi Lou. Victor Espinosa aboard in 147 and 4. California Chrome won his first six starts this year, including the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness Stakes. But his bid for the Triple Crown was halted by his fourth place finish in the Belmont Stakes. A disappointing sixth when Byron won the Grade 2 Pennsylvania Derby. California Chrome finished a close third when Byron captured the Breeders' Cup Classic. This victory puts the Art Sherman trainee back in the picture for Horse of the Year honors. The colt by Lucky Pulpit was bred in California by his owners, Perry Martin and Steve Coburn. His bankroll stands at $4,222,000. California Chrome paid three forty dollars to win and is the Malone's favorite of the week, presented by Malone's, Lexington's favorite steakhouse. We'll see you next week here on Thoroughbred Week. Thoroughbred Week is presented by the Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association and the Florida Department of Agriculture. Online at tbreadweek.com.